I was, uh, the question is about the, the continued increased cost of, of health insurance and uh, whether or not something can be done to stop it. Here, here's what I'll do. I think that between now, as far as I, I think that between now and December 31st, there is going to be an opportunity to pass a bill through the House of Representatives. And once the rates are published, once the rates are published and people who have been told they're going to get something, Radio for fifty dollars realize what they're actually going to be paying for it. I think that you will see a tremendous number of members of the Senate vote to either postpone it, which I believe the president. I'm telling you, I believe you can sign a bill to postpone it. If you look, we have already passed six different laws that, that have been signed by him and making changes to it. He has admitted there are portions of it that cannot um, be afforded. And, and Mr. Taylor, logistically, I, I want y'all to, so logistically, even if you're in favor of a single payer system, logistically, Health and Human Services on a monthly basis is going to report to the IRS whether or not you do or don't have credit service. And the IRS on a monthly basis is going to determine who gets the penalty and who gets the credit. Now, approximately 1% of the people in this country are, are veterans, certain point there. When they come to our office and we're trying to get a date of birth change in their file, it may take us weeks. And that's for 1% of the population. The idea that 100% of the population is going to go into this database and computer system and HHS is going to be able to track whether or not you do or don't have credit service and report it to the IRS and that they're going to be able to get that wrong. I, look, you know, Max Bach is called a train wreck. And I honestly think he's right. I think there are a lot of other senators that are up for re-election. There are a lot of senators up for re-election that voted for that bill that quite honestly need to have it postponed before they get voted on. And so um, I think there's a potential to, to at least delay it. I know that I uh, spoke to one of my former competitors, colleague, one of his young, young, healthy group, he just got a 300% rate increase. Because of community rate increase. 300% rate increase. Um, my wife is still in that business. I mean, 25, 30%, 40% is not, it's not uncommon like that. And, you know, I, I think the trend continues until, until we're able to uh, replace that bill. We can look at some of the portability provisions that we have in group health insurance. We, we can do portability for somebody who buys an individual policy. We, we can do those things. And, um, you know, we're, we're going to continue to work with that. Next question. Uh, 